Welcome to the English news of Bimfu Radio Television Station and Newspaper. Now following are the headlines for today. I'm Ngoc Thoi. Bimfu Sporting Disease Prevention and Control. Hân Quảng experiences more chance during 10 years in re-establishment. Vietnam CPI is up 2.58% in January August period. Hải Phòng among top destinations for FDI in Vietnam. The Binfuk Department of Health has submitted to the Provincial People Committee for consideration of projects on improving local capacity in disease prevention and controls as medical examinations and treatment for residents in 2021-2025 period with a vision to 2030. Certain contents will take effect once approval is forthcoming, such as planning for the province general hospital to become a level 1 hospital by 2025, the hospital of traditional medicine, medical centers in Binh Long and Phuc Long Tao becoming level 2 hospital by 2025, a project on the development of healthcare human resources by 2025 and vision to 2030, a plan to generate electronic healthcare records in the 2022-2025 period and improving the quality of medical care at school to 2025 with a vision to 2030, among others. Vice Chairman of the Provincial People's Committee Chen Tuyết Minh has asked the department to review a draft plan for Bing Phuc to 2025 and 2030, ensuring that an obstetric and pediatric hospital and a geriatric hospitals are included. The Binfus General Hospital has held a ceremony to receive medical equipment from the B58 short stock company Binfu. The Interventional Cardiology Unit at the Binfu General Hospital has been in operation since the end of July. It boasts modern equipment such as DSA system, a 1 to 8 slide CT scanner, and a color Doppler ultrasound system, a digital X ray machine, a mobile X ray machine, and a team of skilled medical workers in cardiology. The unit will undertake early intervention in cases of cardiovascular disease, help reduce travel costs, and improving the qualities of medical care. At the handover ceremony, the unit receives a 3D echocardiogram and a defibrillator from the B85 George Top Company, Bing Phuc. The devices will help offer local people better cardiovascular health care. In the 10 years since it was re its public, Hân Quảng Digit has seen a remarkable change in its economic structures. The proportion of agriculture has fallen to less than 50%, while industries, construction, services now account for more than 50%. Budget collection exceeded 300 billion Vietnam Nam Dong in the first seven months of the year. A particular note, annual first capital's income now stands at 66 million Vietnam Nam Dong. To create a solid foundation for social economic development and to improve life studies and production, the district has planned a number of residential and public construction projects. Notably, the People's Committee of the District and local sectors at all levels are working on the construction of five industrial clusters and three industrial parks on 100 hectares to form production areas for agricultural products, foodstuffs and industrial and consumer goods. The district has also run our investment attraction incentives. It currently is home to more than 400 enterprises operating primarily in good processing, fertilizer production, animal feed and agricultural product processing. The district also has 24 cooperatives and 34 cooperative groups that have received support in building brands, monitoring product value and raising worker incomes. Vietnam's consumer price index in August increased slightly by the 0.005% from the previous month, 3.6% again December 2021, and 2.89% year-on-year, the Zandro Statistic Office. In the January to August period, the index went up to 2.58% compared to the same period last year. Meanwhile, the country's core inflation rose by 1.64%. Among the 11 groups of main consumer goods and services, now reported price highs. Meanwhile, decreases were seen in the prices of educational services, post and telecommunications services. 
To actively respond to challenges posed by increasing inflation pressure, the government has directed ministries, sectors and localities to take concerted measures to stabilize prices and minimize inflation's negative impacts on socio-economic development. France Minister Phạm Minh Chin has ordered reviewing legal regulations in an effort to ensure the tables, healthy and sustainable development of the real estate market. In a directive issued on August 29th, the Prime Minister emphasized the need to set up decentralization and pilot mechanisms and policies to create a new momentum for the market. The government leader also stressed the need to combine fiscal and monetary policies harmoniously and effectively, implement the monetary policy flexibly, safely, and cautiously, and expand the fiscal policy reasonably. The Ministry of Construction were asked to quickly study and provide relevant legal regulations, develop an information system, and accelerate cash rate payments in property transactions. The housing law amended and the law on real estate amended will be submitted to the National Assembly for approval to create legal framework for real estate business, according to the directive. The Prime Minister said cities and provinces should publicize the list of projects, land fund and procedures to attract investors and facilitate their operations. Overseas shipments within the first seven months of 2022 earned more than 14 billion US dollars for the leader and footwear sector, an annual increase of 13 percent. During the period, the export revenue of the products from North America and the EU grew by 24 percent and 17.5 percent, respectively. The export value also saw good recovery in market signing of free trade agreement with Vietnam. For example, an 18.2% increase in exports to Vietnam EU FTA members and a 10.5% rise in comprehensive and progressive agreement for trans Pacific partnership member markets. Key exports markets of Vietnam, like the EU and US, are experiencing a reduction in consumption, hence an impact on purchasing power. Vietnam earned nearly 21 billion US dollars from the export of leather and footwear in 2021, up 46% from 2020, including roughly 18 billion US dollars from footwear alone, up more than 6%. Various world famous brands, including Nike, Adidas, Reebok, and Puma, has selected Vietnam as a destination for outsourcing and setting production bases. Haiphong City has always been among the top destinations for foreign direct investment in Vietnam. It is currently home to 827 valid FDI projects worth nearly 24 billion US dollars from 42 countries and territories. Various investment promotion activities have been organized recently by authorities of Haiphong to popularize the northern city as a dynamic and potential destination for investors. The city is currently home to 827 valid FDI projects worth nearly $24 billion from 42 countries and territories. Up to 444 of those projects are invested in economic and industrial zones. The Republic Korea is the leading investor here in terms of both the project number and value, over 170 projects worth about $10 billion, equivalent to 41% of the total FDI. It has attracted many large-scale manufacturers, including LG and Pegatron. Leaders of High Falls said the city always treasures the cooperation and pledges unceasing efforts to create an optimal and fair business environment for foreign investors. Colorado fees is an ancient art form from the East, while graffiti represents a zone control movement imported from the West and largely associated with the hip hop cultures in Vietnam. As a sufficient name dialogue between calligraphy and graffiti, held at Hanoi's Van Miu Quốc Tự Giám, has brought Austin a new experience in creative arts. Calligraphy is an ancient art form developed in the East. It was mainly practiced in the past by intellectuals and literary enthusiasts. Graffiti developed in the West as part of a young cultural movement and after arriving in Vietnam has been influenced by hip-hop culture. 
with a design to identify creative ideas. The Văn Miêu Quốc Tử Giám Cultural and Science Center, in cooperation with the Vietnam National Institute of Cultural and Art Studies, have implemented the dialogue between calligraphy and graffiti project for the past two months. This vision features 39 walls of calligraphy and graffiti, arranged like a story about two people with different personalities and a dialogue that brings them together to empathize and share with each other. Vietnamese calligraphers and graffiti artists from around the country have worked together to produce walls that show the dialogue between two art forms. This vision is open to the public until September 30th. That's all for the news today. Thanks for watching PPTV News. Goodbye and see you next time.